Nanak supplicates by contemplating God's holy feet. I have taken shelter of the Lord compassionate and ocean of grace. God is a lover of his devotees, which nature is his self-made. Wherever his devotees invoke the Lord, there is he revealed. His devotees, the Lord spontaneously merges with himself and settles their affairs. In praising God, they obtain peace and supreme bliss. And forget all sorrows. The flash and light of the one Lord they behold in ten directions. Nanak supplicates, meditate on the Lord's feet, who has taken upon himself the duty of loving his devotees. As a fifth Guru, immutable is wedding bliss of God's devotees. Their spouse never dies nor departs from their side. She in whose home is God, the groom ever enjoys him. Imperishable and immortal is he, the Lord, who is ever young and stainless. The Lord is not distant and is ever present, and he fills the ten directions forever and a. He is Lord of life, from whom come wisdom to attain supreme state. To me is dear and pleasing the love of the beloved. Nanak utters what he has come to know from Guru's teaching. Eternal is the saint's groom who neither dies nor depart. She who has God for her husband enjoys great bliss. Happy is that wife and perfect becomes her glory. Singing God's praise, she attains honor, greatness and happiness. He, the great Lord, is ever with her. She has all perfections and nine treasures and her home is wanting in nothing. It contains all things. Sweet is her speech. She obeys her beloved and permanent becomes her wedded life. Nanak says what he has come to know through the Guru's teachings. She who has the Lord for her spouse enjoys great happiness. Come, O mate, to the saints and let us engage ourselves in their service. Let us grind their corn, wash their feet and shed our self-conceit. Let us shed our ego and not display ourselves. Thus our trouble is removed. Let us get into God's protection. Obey him and be happy with whatever he does. Let us perform the service of God's slave. Dispel anxiety, be wakeful and day and night stand before him with folded hands. Nanak says, by Guru's teaching is he realized, come to the saint, O maid, and let us engage ourselves in his service. He who has good destiny recorded on his forehead, him the Lord puts to his service. He who has obtained the company of the holy, his desire is fulfilled. In the company of the holy, man is absorbed in God's love and takes to Lord's meditation. Doubt, attachment and sin of duality, he abandons all. Peace, poise and sublime faith dwell in his mind and with joy and delight he sings God praises. Nanak says, by Guru's teaching is he realized. He alone engages himself to his service on whose forehead such destiny is written. As a fifth Guru, Slok, meditating on the Lord God's name, Death's courier says nothing to the mortal. Nanak says, his mind and body are at peace.